Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Scorpio for December of 2012. This also applies if you have a Scorpio ascendant. So my dear Scorpios, yes I know Saturn is in your sign and many of you are in the process of reinventing yourselves. This is a time really for those things that you're not happy about to go and for new things to come in. Planting new seeds. Don't be too much in a hurry to have those new seeds flower. Plant them, water them, allow them to grow slowly. So things are going to happen slowly, maybe more slowly than you'd like them to. But you are in this process of reinvention. So think about how you want to be in all ways. How do you want your life to be? Spiritually, emotionally, your relationships, your finances, your work. All of this you can recreate over these next couple of years. So use this Saturn transit very well to develop new structures that are more supportive to you in this new phase of your life. And you get some help for the first couple of weeks of this month because Venus is in your first house. So this is a time when you can draw people to you, magnetize people to you with your charm. It's a time when you're going to be able to smooth things over if you've had any disagreements, either at work or at home or in your relationship. You should be able, things should be calmer and more and easier. And also a time to do pleasurable things. Maybe have a makeover, do something nice for your appearance, the way you come over. It can certainly change these first couple of weeks of this month. Biggest focus this week, month is going to be your finances. Lots happening there, a lot of good opportunities coming in, especially the second two weeks of the month. We've got Venus there, which will bring you some financial opportunities coming in. So it draws money to you. Of course, with Venus there, Venus likes to spend it just as much as, uh, as having it come in. So make sure you're not doing impulsive purchases, but you've just got lovely aspects there. And on the 13th of the month, a new moon in your second house of finance. So a wonderful time for new resolutions about how you want to structure your finances, how much money you want to earn, how you're going to deal with any debt if you have debt, how you want to earn your living from now on, how you want to invest money, how you see money, your attitudes, your values, what's important to you now financially. Things may change during this time, particularly the last couple of weeks of the month. And a lot going on in your third house with Mars there for the first three and a half weeks of the month. So this is a wonderful time for uh, making a lot of trips, for visiting lots of different people. You're probably going to find yourself very busy on the go, not really having much time to sit down very much, but going from here and there and everywhere. With Pluto there as well, this is a wonderful time for study. But for some deep research, anything that involves investigative work, anything that involves security as well, could come into it. But it's a wonderful time for really focusing your, and concentrating your energy. You're going to be able to find out a lot of things. And Scorpios, we all know that you love to get to the bottom of things and to find out. So if you've been really wanting to get to the bottom of something, this first three and a half weeks of the, this month, the aspects are very favourable for that. They're also very favourable for anything concerning selling something. You, if you're passionate about something, you're going to be able to sell a lot of it. Whether it's a product or a service, people are going to listen to you and they're going to want to buy it. So that's a really good aspect to have. Um, the last few days of the month, we've got Mars into your fourth house of home. So this is a time when you're going to be put a lot of energy into the home, maybe into your family. You may feel as though you're putting most of the work in and there may be some disagreements but it is a good time as well to put energy into your home, into your surroundings. And also for those of you that want to move home, this will be a good time to set the wheels in motion for making a move, maybe in next year. With uh, Uranus in the sixth house of work, for many of you, work's been erratic. Or maybe you've gone from contract to contract. Or you haven't been able to find permanent full-time work. You've had to go uh, part-time, temporary consulting freelance work that's probably going to continue Scorpios but it's also with Uranus there it tends to bring opportunities in when you least expect it so when you've kind of let go and maybe just feeling a little desperate something will probably just come in at that moment so don't give up hope keep the faith there and something will come in for you as far as your work is concerned
with Jupiter in the eighth house, this could be some opportunities for somebody helping you financially, a grant or a sponsorship or something coming from outside to help you a little. So there you have it, my dear Scorpios. You might want to have a reading about what 2013 has in store for you. And of course, I'd be delighted to hear from you. And I want to wish you all a very happy, healthy and successful new year. Thank you for listening and for passing these videos on, for tweeting, for sharing, for commenting. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.